Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of a music player app which we are going to develop in the entire series. Okay, so I'm going to start this. Initially, I have named this player as M player. So when I click on this, it will actually load entire songs available in my device and show in the list view. Here you can see this. I will show you how to fetch these all songs and show in this one so let me first uninstall i'm not going to uninstall this just long press on this app info let me just open this like this one app info inside this one we have given two permission that is microphone and storage so i'm going to disable this one and let me move back over here and i'm going to restart the app when i click on this here you can see this Allow M player to access photos, media and files on your system. So I'm going to show you how to actually ask for permission from the user in our app. So if I allow it, it will ask for another permission that is allow M player to record audio. I'm also going to allow this. I'm going to show each of these stuff in very detail. After that, I will show you how to design this card view inside this one. Here you can see this for every song. There is one view. Okay, and after that, finally, I'm going to show you how to perform a click listener on this list view item. If I click on this, this will open a new activity and that will be the player. When I click on this, this song will be start playing. So I'm going to click on this and here you can see this. I'm going to pause this. Here you can see this, this song start uh, playing started. Okay, here you can see this. We have few buttons that is play. And after we again play this, it will bounce that it will move back into the origin position. Now we have this next button and the previous button. If I click on the next button, observe this, the name of the song, it will be changed. So when I click on, and this will rotate one time on the right side, click on this, change the song. And this is the visualizer. I'm going to show you how to add this visualizer. And we just pause this and here you can see this timer is also being updated when the song is moving or the song is playing the seek bar with the help of the seek bar we can also update the song like we can skip the song to a certain position like if I click on this one if I play this here you can see this at 115 it's being played now so with the help of this fast forward and fast backward we can subtract and add move forward this seek bar okay we can skip the song like when I click on this, now if I play this, you can see this, now the song is skipped to the 10 second and if I click on this one, it will skip back to the 10 seconds. Here you can see this, it's 21 from 31 to 21. So it's moved backward. Okay. When I click on this one, it will reverse in the previous reverse side, rotate in the reverse side and the song is changed. So this one is working fine. So I'm going to show you each of these stuff in very detail. So just subscribe, share and, and thanks for watching and please hit like, subscribe and share with your friends.